Peko Banyaya has concern over the atmosphere when Marc Marquez becomes his teammate, Ducati have admitted. Marquez won the high-profile chase to become the second official Ducati rider in 2025 ahead of Jorge Martin and Inia Bastianini. One of the many talking points will be his relationship with current champion Banyaya. Peko has often repeated that he hopes to keep the existing harmony in the garage, team manager Davide Tardazzi told Cycle World. So his concern is there will be situations that could damage this atmosphere in the garage. This is also our priority. We don't think that Mark's presence can create problems inside the Ducati garage. We think we are able to manage two champions like Mark and Peko. Sepping was almost 10 years ago. An added layer of difficulty is Banyaya's loyalty to Valentino Rossi, Marquez's eternal foe. Banyaya is a product of the VR46 Academy but now, several years later, must share a garage with his mentor's most heated rival. It's true that Pecco was a writer of Valentino Rossi's Academy, but he is a solid champion in himself, Tardazzi said. Our priority is that the atmosphere in the garage will remain harmonious as it is nowadays. It's my task to maintain it. Tardazzi was questioned whether Italian fans will accept Marquez wearing red. He was asked about memories of Rossi and Marquez's most notorious skirmishes. We have to say that the facts and sepping date back to almost 10 years ago, Tardazzi responded. He clarified why Marquez was chosen above Martin or Bastianini. We look at the rider's performance and his ability to develop the bike together with Pecco and win titles, Tardazzi said. We look ahead, to the future, not to the past. Moreover, in the sport there are the fans who follow a single racer, and then the Ducati fans who follow the brand. This is so special and we are very proud and honored to have them. Jorge Lorenzo thinks that MotoGP could experience a boom in popularity, almost to the heights of Valentino Rossi's peak. The competitiveness of Marc Marquez and Pedro Acosta is the reason. Marquez and Acosta have shown this season but will become factory riders in 2025 and could vie for the MotoGP title to herald a new era of thrills. As soon as Mark has returned to fighting for victories, the MotoGP audience, also with Acosta in the category, has increased, Lorenzo was quoted by AS. I won't tell you that he is at the level of Valentino Rossi's good times, but it is true that by far he is the most media-worthy. Jorge Lorenzo insists that Marquez proved his clout by winning the battle for the 2025 official Ducati. He provoked a U-turn from the manufacturer after claiming he would not accept a factory bike within the Promac team. He has played his cards in the best way, Lorenzo said. He has played his cards by saying in the media, and I suppose personally in private, that he was not going to Promac, that he wanted red. Ducati was scared. The only option they had to keep Marc Marquez was to put him in red and that threat of, if you don't put me in red, I'll leave, had an effect in the offices. It is clear that Gigi Daligna and Ducati's plan was to keep all three of them, Jorge and Red and, if possible, Mark and Promac. But Mark didn't have that plan. Ex-Ducati writer Lorenzo assessed the manufacturer's decision to snap up Marquez and lose Jorge Martin and Ania Bastianini in the process. I think that the results, although the writers themselves denied it, have been fundamental, Lorenzo said. If Jorge Martin had won almost all the races, I think he would be in the red now, despite having to fight for that future with Marquez. It is true that he is still first in the world championship, but Mark, with a GP23, is the only one who was close to 2024. And it is Mark Marquez. Therefore, Claudio Domenicali, with the pressure that Mark put on, preferred to secure Marquez rather than Martin. It's that simple. Ducati sees that he is 32 years old, that he can probably have between two and four good years left, and can retire in red, being a writer for the brand. Without obviously counting the results he can give. Marc Marquez was grilled about whether KTM were an option, before he signed his new Ducati deal. Marquez has penned a contract to ride for Ducati's factory team in 2025 and 2026, gaining access to official machinery and additional support. Before he won the roller coaster race against Jorge Martin for the coveted bike, KTM lurked as a rumored alternative. Marquez was asked if it was ever realistic that he could form a dream team alongside Pedro Acosta in KTM colors.
He told AS, out of respect for the brands, I am not going to say either plan B or plan C. I was very clear that my number one priority was a Ducati. Because I already made a big change last year, and I didn't initially feel like making another big change. I wanted to continue where I was or turn red. Those were my two options and I was able to get the one I liked the most, the best. <laughs> However, Marquez was very complimentary about Acosta who could emerge as a future rival. Acosta's transition to the Premier class has been seamless this year, and he will be promoted from Tech 3 Gascas to KTM's official team in 2025. Marquez was asked which MotoGP rider he admires and tips for a big future. I have always said it, Pedro Acosta, he answered. Everyone has been arriving and they are going fast. You see it with Peko and Martin, but Pedro Acosta arrives and does different things. At the moment, he still lacks the experience of controlling all situations. But he does arrive and do different things. He can mark a few years in MotoGP. So, does Marquez see himself in the young talent? Yes, 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 he said. When I arrived in MotoGP I found Valentino Rossi, Jorge Lorenzo, Danny Pedrosa. That is now Pedro Acosta, who with patience and calm will do very well. Rather than teammates, Marquez and Acosta will be factory rivals next season. Perhaps, even, with the championship on the line. On the other hand, MV Augusta could return to MotoGP in 2027, its owners claim. The famous brand is owned by Pirer Mobility Group, who also own KTM and Gascas. MV Augusta was the motorcycle that the legendary Giacomo Agostini won his premier class championships on, but in recent times it has required a rebuild from its new owners. But, it could return to the racetrack when the new MotoGP regulations come into effect. That is still our intention, and we plan to bring MV Augusta back into the premier class, Hubert Trunkenpols, a member of the Pira Mobility Group Board of Directors, told GP1. But we certainly won't do that by developing a separate engine because the best in-house MotoGP engine is only one, and we don't want to deprive MV of that. We want that for this brand, as well. In 2027, KTM and MV will have to share the new 850 cubic centimeters MotoGP engine, which is why MV won't be a separate manufacturer in 2027. We can't afford it and we can't allow it. Our plan with MV Augusta is very simple. From 2024 to 2026 we have to get the company back on track. It's going to take some time to stabilize all the aspects, from the product range to the production sites and also the business side. Until we get everything in order, there is no point in racing in MotoGP. However, 2027 may be a good year for MV Augusta to enter MotoGP. MV Augusta ran in Moto2 for three years until 2022.